Today, what day are we on? Wow, we're having so much fun. Today, we're on day 13. We're going to be talking about shame. So get your brain state ready. Let's do this today. Say hi when you are here. Comment below. Where are you hearing this from? Talk about shame today. Should I be able to do this on my own? Excuse my camera a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Get you out of my, out of my system. Hello, this is your daily boost. We're going to be talking about shame today. Should I be able to do this on my own? I have so many ladies that ask that. So many clients. We're going to talk about that today. Hey, Just love that artist. Such a good, positive artist. So, so important for us to surround ourselves with positivity. I can't tell you how many times, because all I listen to now these days is things like this um, in the radio um, and um, on when I'm driving, um, when I'm cleaning, when I'm cooking for my family. And I wake up thinking, hearing those lyrics in my mind, I'm like, whoa, hey, there it is. So that's just an example of how, how important it is to make sure that we are just set, surrounding ourselves with that positivity. Okay, so let's talk today about shame. I feel ashamed that I cannot do this on my own. Shouldn't I be able to overcome this? Like, I feel ashamed that I need support. I feel ashamed that, gosh, I would like to have support. I just feel ashamed that I can't do this on my own. Oh, I so get that. Absolutely. So understand that, especially for so many who have um, done so many diets under the sun. So even though you might have been dieting for decades, trying to do this on your own for decades, we're going to talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> so before I jump into that, if you are interested in connecting with me, there's a couple of ways that you can connect with me. One is you could go to blissfullyhealthy.com. And you could set up a free discovery session with me if you're interested in coaching and we can dive in deeper about what's going on for you and see if support might be a good option. Another option is you could click the link here in the description, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook, <laughs> and you can click the link and just learn more about the Jumpstart program and it's just $97. I wanted to create an option for people who are just feeling like, you know, I, I'm just not wanting to invest a, a, a good amount right now. I want to just give this thing a try. And so this will give you so much and all the details are in that link. Okay. <clears throat> so let's talk about this. So shame is a learned behavior and it is a brain state that so many of us learn and it can be the subconscious, um, 
subconscious way of being and living. And we really, really do want to um, just overcome that because that is one of the things that will keep you stuck. So if you remember what we've talked about is when I have a belief, whether it's subconscious or conscious, that's going to create thoughts. Those thoughts that are going to be naturally create feelings. And then those feelings are going to lead to our behaviors and those behaviors are going to prove to our results. So I, uh, this is part of my signature talk that I just love helping. And it's one of the biggest takeaways I would say that I hear over and over from people um, saying like that was so helpful and it's a great example of emotional tools. Um, so that if you that's something you would like to have more access to um, just feel free to send me a message and I can send you a little bit of a video on it and then also an image of what this all looks like but okay so I have a belief let's say oh I've tried so many different things but before in the past I just feel ashamed like I should be able to do this on my own I mean look at all these other people who don't have challenges around food like I feel ashamed I feel shameful that I just can't do this on my own like I should be able to get get my act together everything else in life I can have together so the belief is that I should be able to do this on my own and then the thoughts are all those other things, right? So comment below on like, how does that make you feel when you hear those thoughts? And I'm going to say them again. So comment below. I'd love to see some comments. So again, that is, I should be able to do this on my own. That is a belief that some women will have and some men will have that it's, I should be able to do this on my own. I'm weak or I just should be able to do this on my own. Belief. Now that leads to thoughts. Thoughts happen so quickly, right? They happen so quickly. We have about, I think experts say like 85,000 thoughts a day. And um, most of those are negative, especially for the clients I work with. A lot of that's very negative. So those thoughts might sound like, look at all the things I've tried before. Nothing has worked. Um, all these other people could just seem to be not having issues around food and weight. And like, why me? Why can't I just overcome this? There's something really wrong with me. Ugh. So how does that make you feel? Comment below. Things I hear when I share this in my signature talk are things like hopeless, helpless, more ashamed, um, just um, feeling depressed, negative, right? So those are the feelings. So then if I'm feeling that way, the next part of the cycle is then going to be my behavior. So then if I'm feeling depressed and shameful, like I should be able to do this on my own. Why can't I do this on my own? Look at how many things I've tried. And now I'm feeling hopeless and ashamed. The behavior, what's the behavior that's most likely to happen? And I see some comments coming in. Thanks guys. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Um, the behavior, if I'm an emotional eater and I don't have emotional tools to navigate through all those feelings of despair and shame, ugh, just give me some food to numb that out, please. And it becomes this automatic brain pathway. So some of it can be conscious, but the other part, it's just a huge hankering. And it literally feels like, get out of my way. Just give me the food. Like, beeline for the food, right? And I'm going to do whatever I can to get to it. Or it becomes just like Pavlov's dogs where this craving just becomes really intense. And so then I emotionally eat, let's say. And then that proves those creates role, results. So those results might be I emotionally ate again. I failed again. Um, I gained weight. I can't stay on track with healthy eating, things like that. And that result proves back to the belief, right? That proves back to the belief that, see, I, I can't do this. Like, why is, I should be able to do this on my own, but I can't. <clears throat> so it proves back to I'm hopeless, I'm a failure. So this is the cycle we want to get out of. And so the beautiful thing is, this is a tool that I'm teaching you here today. This is an emotional tool. This is an example of the other tools that I also teach clients. This is why it has to start with the mindset. Like we can focus on the food, absolutely. We can do that. We can focus on the weight, absolutely. And moving your body, absolutely. And those things are important. The 
eating healthy, yes, are important. Moving your body, yes, are important. And we do talk about those in Blissfully Healthy Land. But none of that, none of that is going to stick if we have a shame mindset. And if we have this perfectionism mindset, that if I have a little bit, well, then I'm a failure. Like I had one little Hershey's Kisses or I had a bite of a cookie or, you know, yeah, I did emotionally eat a little bit or a lot or whatever. And then I'm a failure and I quit everything. We want to get you out of that cycle. So let's take the same example. Let's just say, okay, like I should be able to do this on my own. Oh, why can't I do this on my own? I should be able to do this on my own. I feel ashamed that I, I might need support with this. Okay. Let's choose some new thoughts. We can't simply just change our beliefs from, you know, I should be able to do this on my own and I'm hopeless and I'm a failure and I'm worthless. We're not going to be able to just change our beliefs from that to I'm amazing and wonderful and I'm a beautiful just as I am and I love myself and I'm worthy. <laughs> that would be amazing and great. And that's where we want to get to, but it doesn't just happen like that. We actually have to create new supporting evidence to have that new belief stand upon. And so I want to invite you to look for new supporting evidence that it is okay to have support if you really feel like you need it, absolutely, and that you can do this. So we're going to take that same belief. I feel ashamed that I can't do this on my own. I should be able to do this on my own. Look at all these other people. Okay, pause. Whoop. Stop, time out, time out. Okay, let's get present. Are those thoughts helpful or harmful? If they're not helpful, let's flip them. And I'm snapping a lot today. I'm a little sassy. <laughs> so let's choose instead that we're gonna say, okay, yeah, all those other things that I might have tried before, they haven't worked, but I have not looked at the emotional side. I haven't looked at the mindset stuff. I haven't looked at a behavior change and really looking at that emotional piece. Or how about choosing thoughts like, you know, if somebody has, if somebody has a challenge around spending, they're going to look for some resources to help them with that. Or if somebody has a challenge with, um, you know, fatigue, they're going to go to the doctor and want to get some support with that. It's okay to have support. It's normal. Everybody needs support. And in fact, the emotional brain needs connection, especially around those things that we feel ashamed about. And what we want to do is shine a light on that. So if you're starting to think thoughts like that, I love to hear from you. Comment below. How do those thoughts make you feel? Again, those thoughts are, it's okay to have support. Everybody needs support at some time in life, whatever that support looks like. I've tried things on my own. It's all right. Let me just go ahead and get some more information. How do those thoughts make you feel? It's okay to have support. Everybody needs support at some time in life. It's all right. Every, it is okay. I'm worthy of that. So then if you have thoughts like, okay, more hopeful, maybe they're more helpful, maybe you're feeling more positive, right? Then what's most likely then the behavior that might follow? Maybe I'm going to choose some healthier foods. Maybe I won't have as intense cravings. That literally does happen. Maybe the cravings go away because I'm not in that shame spiral. That shame spiral actually creates cravings. Because the brain has learned, if I feel shame and horrible, I need food to numb it out, and it keeps that cycle going. But if I start feeling positive, huh, you know, I lose interest in the food. I feel fulfilled in life, and the result is I'm emotionally eating less. Maybe I'm feeling happier. And then it proves back to the belief, and it says, see, I told you I can do this. I'm worthy of having support. It's okay to have support. Everybody needs support. And you'll see how much better you feel and how much faster you're making progress by having that. So all of that, your results prove your beliefs. And so we want to start to intercept this process at the thoughts. Okay, so today, get present. Yesterday, we talked about the or and the and and choosing to have an and. 
And so today, this is one of those tools that you can simply add in and get present with to start to notice where it is that you might be having some negative thoughts and behaviors and give yourself permission, love, that it is okay to have support. If you need support, it is okay. Whether it's watching my YouTube videos, plugging in here in the Facebook Lives, whether it's being in the free group that I offer, and or reaching out for support elsewhere, um, you know, it's okay that you need support. It is okay, you are worthy of that. You are worthy of having whatever support you need to be the happiest, healthiest version of you. You are not here on this earth to feel miserable in your body and ashamed about your behavior around food and about your weight. It is okay and there is a way out. It just means that we need to do something different. We need to do something different and this is different and I hope that gives you some hope. So as we end our time together, I really want to invite you to share this. If this really spoke to you, please share it or any of my other videos, please share it and help get the word out that there is hope for healing emotional eating. There is freedom. We just need to go about it another way. And another diet is not going to heal emotional eating because it is a mindset and emotional thing. So my, I just want to be a light. I want to be a light for others. And I remember being in the depths of this and feeling lost and alone. And I don't want that for you. And there's so many people out there struggling with this as I was, and they're suffering in silence. So if you feel inspired by this, I really want to invite you to share it, like it, um, and just help spread the word that freedom is possible and there is an answer. Don't, people do not have to remain stuck. So I hope that this video is helpful for you and I just want to invite you to stop dieting. So say it with me. You are invited to stop dieting and start living because a blissfully healthy lifestyle does not have an expiration date. And you, you are truly truly worth it. I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Right, bye-bye.